So basically the concept was a two-part program. The first step would be to take 40 students from uh, the regional area and bring them down to Dallas to this professional glass studio. Okay, there we go, come on in. Alex is going to narrate in our demonstration. He's going to uh, you know, teach everybody a little bit more about glass. Where they would get to interact with the, with the artists, with the glass blowers, and then they would actually get to do some hands-on work. They would get to blow glass, they would get to fuse glass, and they would basically get to learn about how science and art mix and, and what can be done when you combine those two concepts. It was awesome. It was a different experience. I definitely didn't expect this. I expected, you know, to, to watch y'all do it and stuff, but interacting with it is a whole lot better. Never, never had anything like this before. Now we're going to create the flowers. Yeah. You get to do it. It's, it's more, it's more than you can imagine. It's, it's better than, better than you think it's going to be. So it's, it's fun. It's I really didn't think about blowing glass as something like where you could do all this stuff. That would still be fun. This was really cool because I didn't know, well, like I knew of glass bone, but I didn't know like you, how you shape it, like making it into flowers and stuff. So it was cool getting to do it firsthand and actually like getting to do it. Overwhelmingly, every student was like, wait, we get to do this too? We get to put our hands on the stuff and like make this glass? And um, they were just overwhelmed by that, I think. I think that they were really surprised. Um, and, and really just amazed that they got to do that, which made us very happy. That is our goal. So I first saw glass blowing when I was eight years old. The other thing is that the, I know the artists themselves and the woman, Carlin, who owns the studio, said that the students, they were very impressed by the students. They were, they multiple times came up and said, these students are amazing. We are loving how they're engaging with this program. We're loving that they love this art. Um, it's always nice to have someone appreciate your work. And um, the artists, I think, got a lot out of it themselves to just get that feedback from these young students. So I'm holding it down, right? Gravity's pulling on that flower, keeping it nice and taut like that. Having this ability to share glass with kids and students, um, to me, I think changes their world. So it's really exciting. So in Art Reaching Out, our purpose is to share STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math, powered glass art. To have them experience science and see technology, engineering, and mathematics and how it's really all encompassed in art and especially through glass. Glass really shares chemistry and makes the classroom come alive while having a lot of fun. So what you do is you do a small amount of glue on the plate glass and then just kind of scatter it like a mosaic. So each student is actually making a couple different glass birds. They're decorating and fusing with Frit, F-R-I-T, crushed up colored glass. And we're going to melt that onto the glass. And then we're going to what we call slump it. So the wings are going to fold down and it's going to look like the birds in flight. We're going to hang that on a cable and hang that from the structure of the ceiling. And these birds will be floating in front of the window so it looks like they're flying. So the students created a blown glass piece with the artists in the studio. And of course, because it's hot glass, the process of creating that, it has to sit overnight. So they weren't allowed to take that back with them on the day of. It had to be sent up here a couple days later. Uh, so basically, we, we box, it was all boxed up, and then we uh, dispersed it out to the schools and to the teachers. And um, I got to go to Newcastle and, and watch those students, um, a very rural school, uh, open their boxes, and it was like Christmas. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! I mean, it's like these kids yeah. made this glass themselves. They knew they made it. It wasn't like a surprise that they'd made this stuff. Um, and yet it was still wonderful to watch them open the box like a little kid on Christmas and be like, look at this thing I made and be be so, imp so impressed and so proud of themselves. I honestly thought it would turn out pretty horrible, but it turned out pretty good. I'm surprised that, you know, Newcastle was able to do this since we're such a small school. So I'm really happy that we had this experience. When have you ever made your own glass flower or ornament? And if you do, imagine on Christmas evening. You see your ornament up there, so beautiful, so sparkly. 
like I made that. And it's overall just a great experience and you'll get to make your own things. I like the one way up top there. Me too. That breaks it up really well, but maybe a, a third on one of those strands. The second part of the pro project or program was that the artwork that the kiddos created in the studio would then be brought back up to Wichita Falls and installed into a permanent glass piece or permanent art piece in a public location. So this area that we're getting into mm -hmm. is going to be at least three? Okay. So um, basically that phase of the project we worked with the Wichita Falls Airport. Uh, who were incredibly generous and easy to work with and were very excited to have this public art project in their facility. So you can see we have a really nice wide window display and the light will be able to shine through and showcase all the hard work that the kids did. So all the students came in and made their own designs and the sunlight's really going to catch that. You'll be able to see which bird was made by who. Every traveler that comes through is going to be able to take a look when they pick up their their luggage, they're going to be able to see this beautiful installation, so really a great thing and we're just proud to be part of it. Uh, it. It was so wonderful to watch these students, these 40 kiddos, and their teachers respond so well and to get so much out of it. Um, I, I would love to see this program continue. I, it, obviously, it took us four years to find the funding uh, to do it the first time. Um, it was a substantial uh, grant that we got. Uh, from the McCoy Foundation. Uh, they were incredibly generous to fund both phases of this project. Um, so to us, you know, teaching students, whether they're um, children or adults, to appreciate art in their life and then, if possible, participate in art in some way in their life, that, that just the emotional well-being that that brings is, is invaluable. You can help make the artistic dreams of young people come alive by contacting the Arts Council, Wichita Falls.